people get a wolf dog thinking that, oh, it's really cool and they're going to be able to show it off. But if you've got a wolf dog with any actual real wolf content, you can't walk it down the street and show all your friends. You know, these guys are very wary around new people, new places, um, anything that is unfamiliar to them. Just even having uh, visitors come visit our wolf dogs here, you know, they, uh, they act much differently than when it's just me at home with them. My guys do come in the house. Kuna, for example, sleeps on my bed every night, and uh, all my guys are off leash trained. So people see uh, how my guys live in the house and are really integrated as a part of my family. And just one thing that I try to tell people is that I make it look easy, and it's not. Number one, these animals are very timid by nature. Your high content wolf dogs do retain that wariness of new things. You know, they're very good with the animals that are part of their pack. These guys are pretty territorial. They will behave a lot differently towards animals that aren't really part of their family. Anything exciting, anything that's in a different place, um, these guys will chew on and really explore with their teeth. Whether they're dog or wolf, I think um, it's a little bit of neither and a little bit of both. And it basically just depends on how much wolf is in that wolf dog. A low content wolf dog is going to act a lot differently than a high content wolf dog. I find with your higher content wolf dogs, these guys are tame, but they're not domesticated. And these guys don't look towards humans for training, for guidance, for any kind of help. These animals are very independent and do what's best for themselves and what's best for the pack. Things like house training can be very difficult. If they feel like going to the bathroom in your house, they will go to the bathroom in the house. And uh, it's kind of hard to convince them otherwise. Generally, um, I just find that they, uh, they need a lot more care than a regular dog and they need a lot of interaction and uh, you know just a lot of your time to be happy. I mean my entire life revolves around these animals and I kind of find that with especially owning a high content wolf dog it's almost like having a child. If you're doing it right in terms of wolf dog ownership you as a human should be the most important pack member to them. I need to be here. Things like going on vacation uh, it's challenging because not just anybody can take care of these animals. You can't exactly put them in a boarding facility. Um, you can't exactly just pop them in the car with you and drive to wherever you want to go. You definitely have to make a lot of sacrifices in terms of your lifestyle t in order to make a high content wolf dog happy. People really need to think about why they want a wolf dog and what the reasons are behind wanting one of these animals just because it isn't just like owning any other dog. I kind of try to ask, do you want them because it's an ego thing or you think they're cool or different? Do people just want the extra challenge? The majority of the rescued wolf dogs that I've gotten, it's because people get one of these animals without really knowing what they're getting into and probably just thought owning a wolf dog would be a cool thing to own. People learn pretty quickly that, you know, it takes a lot of work. Getting a wolf dog does not actually fulfill that egotistical motivation behind it. Your wolf dog is going to love you and want to be with you, but they're going to want to stay away from, you know, most other people. And again, it depends on the content of wolf dog. You know, some of your lower content wolf dogs, they do wonderful at the dog park. And I've adopted out quite a few wolf dogs that, you know, do well as part of a city life. But the wolfier it looks, the more wolf behavior you're going to be dealing with. And again, you know, the more likely that that wolf dog is going to be essentially scared of everything in terms of the outside world. These guys are absolutely my children and I really treat them as my kids. I love these guys so much and I think if you treated them any other way in terms of if you thought they were just a dog you wouldn't be able to fulfill their needs to be happy because you know they're not just like a dog that will sleep all day and be happy whenever you can come around to give them attention. These guys you know if you're doing it right want to be around you all the time. To have a high content wolf dog living in the house it's not an easy thing to do. You really have to go above and beyond. There's days that it would be a lot easier if I just said, oh, the wolf dogs just, they need to live outside. It's just easier. But, you know, I want these guys to be part of the family. They want to be part of the family. And you have to have a lot of patience to really have one of these guys as a pet.